Good evening. So, uh, back to my roots, sort of. It's uh, two new Mustangs, Fox Body Mustangs, my favorites. Um, so, I have two new Mustangs to show, Fox Body Mustangs. So, you know what that means. I'll be dragging out every Fox Body Mustang I have. So, these two are, are pretty cool green light Mustangs that I've actually had for over a month um, waiting for, you know, uh, the right time to do them. Uh, so many other things have come up, the Motor Max, uh, you know, the different things. Um, so uh, let's take a look at this first one. Now, they are both 1982 Ford Mustangs. This is the 1982 Ford Mustang GT from Greenlight, and it's the vintage ad cars. The boss is back. Uh, in 1982, uh, Ford started with the uh, with the first Mustang GT again after a few years where they no longer used the GT name. So the Fox Body Mustang came out in 1979, but they didn't actually call it a Mustang GT. Um, and so the GT, the Boss, Boss 302, uh, and of course the uh, 302 engine, the 5 liter engine, uh, was reintroduced in 1982. Uh, they had actually gone down to a smaller, I believe, 255 uh, cubic inch V8 for emissions and for gas economy, and that was a crap engine. So they started with the uh, uh, the bosses back to uh, say, hey, we're back in the real you know, performance car um, business again. Um, and so this was a very cool ad. I remember 1982, I was in high school, um, and this is what made me love Fox Body Mustangs. Um, when, they, when the Fox Body came out in 1979, I was only 14 and I was indifferent. I loved Mustangs, but, you know, it was just, um, this was the one that did it for me. Um, this was immensely popular, and we're going to open that up that in a second. So the other one is from... The Hot Pursuit Series 36, this is the 1982 Ford Mustang SSP, Special Service Pursuit. Uh, and famously in 1982, um, the California Highway Patrol was one of the largest departments uh, to order these. Um, and they started appearing on, you know, TV shows like Chips and so forth. Uh, they were iconic. Um... Most police departments at the time were not using uh, pony cars or two-door cars um, as police cars. Um, they were using the LTDs and the, and the Furies and so forth and the Chevy Caprices. But uh, at this point of uh, emissions and so forth, and um, those cars were getting slow. So uh, Ford marketed the Mustang as an opportunity as a police pursuit, special service pursuit. Um, so these are both 2020 cars. Let's take a look at the copyright there. Copyright uh, 2020, um, 799 is what I paid for this. Um, let's see in this vintage ads, you had the uh, the uh, 68 Nova SS, which I wouldn't mind getting that particular version of this. The 1970 Dodge Challenger RT Hemi Convertible. The 73 AMC Matador, and that one is a beautiful car. Uh, I don't have it uh, in a civilian uh, livery. The 75 Dodge Coronet. The 1982 Ford Mustang GT. And the 1985 Chevy Silverado, which is a, a pretty basic gray one. It's nice, but you know... This was obviously, in my opinion, the star of that series. In uh, Series 36, Hot Pursuit, uh, 2020, you had the uh, Milwaukee Matador, the German Berlin Polizei 74 Volkswagen Golf Mark I. I wouldn't mind picking that one up. Uh, this Mustang, the Chi uh, Chicago Police 1995 Ford Crown Victoria, um, the New Hampshire 2018 Dodge Charger, and the Massachusetts 2020 Ford Police Interceptor Utility, which is the uh, Explorer. So let's, I've pre-cut these so you don't have to watch me wield the big knife. 
Um, so let's get these out of the package. And what I've been doing lately is to get rid of the plastic and save the card. I'm gonna try not to knock into the camera like I have. I say camera, it's really just my phone on the... Uh, on the tripod. So there's the Mustang GT. And I should have done this at the beginning of the video, but I'd just like to give uh, a, a belated happy birthday shout out to our friend 2A HD Cat. Uh, happy birthday, Tiz. Um, I think he made some crack about being half my age. And uh, you're younger, but you're not as good looking as me. I'm so pretty, it hurts. Uh, so let's take a look at this red Mustang GT. Um, so, uh, you know, obviously metal body, metal base, it's green light, uh, 7,184. Um, there's all the information on the bottom. Uh, as I've pointed out, I forget on which car, this has the TRX wheels, the three double spokes. Um, this is the four bolt wheel pattern, a nice 5.0 badge. And this was basically the birth of that 5.0 badge, the iconic 5.0 badge. This unit has T-tops, which the Fox body had from 1979 until 1988, the last year that Ford put T-tops in the Mustangs. Um, this has the egg crate grill with the four headlights and the two uh, fog lights here. And at the time, they were, hev they were heavily uh, marketed with Marshall. Uh, nice Mustang emblem there. The original Fox body taillights before they went with the cheese graters and so forth. Very nice tampo work. Beautiful red paint. I'm not a red car guy, but this is very nice uh, and iconic to the uh, to the ad. Now, I was talking to my brother and he says, oh, he's at the burgundy because although the red uh, in the ad was similar to this, the hottest color in 1982 is actually the the darker red. So a nice detailed engine there. You can see the silver air cleaner with the two black hoses for air intake from both fenders and the battery and so forth. So that's nice. Uh, not bad for green light. Um, rolling without any issues. Uh, this is a nice simple casting with no added you know, pieces to be glued on. Just maybe that Spoiler, so be careful. Um, green light did all right there. They have a little silver on the mirrors. Interior looks nice. So that's sweet. So the Fox Body Mustang produced between 1979 and 1993 with um, various changes. Uh, over the years, starting out with this egg crate grill, then in 1983 going for a little bit of an aero look, then uh, 1984 changing again, and then basically from 87 to 93, the taillights and the headlights were the same. It was small details like the rub strip, the wheels, uh, the first year that airbags were available in a Mustang were in 1989, I believe. Um, this is nice. I love my Fox bodies. Green light does an excellent job on them. So now let's take a look at this California Highway Patrol. Special Service Pursuit. Um, they did a nice job on these steel wheels with the center caps. Not a perfect job, but still a nice job. Of course, let's take a look underneath. Uh, there's the casting number.
I don't see the actual like serial. Oh, there it is. Three one three four. So you can see a very similar egg crate grill headlights, but because this is the police or the standard, you know, coupe, uh, no, no spoiler, no fog lights. Uh, but they've done a very nice job on this. Um, let me see if the hood should open on this. It does on most. Hold on. It does on most of these green lights. Let me just, I just have to, they can be a little tight. There we go. So, same chrome air cleaner with the two black snorkels coming out to each side. Very nicely detailed. Uh, thankfully, not a black interior. So, this has a nice California police uh, license plate there. Highway Patrol. The taillights painted. A uh, little silver on the mirrors. The beige for the interior. I don't know, those windows dirty, is that why? Yeah. Or maybe it's just the glare. But still, not bad. Um, and, you know, this is, this is a scene you'd see quite frequently um, all over the country. I mean, the, uh, the Mustang uh, SSP, 1982 to 1983, in 1993, <clears throat> uh, I had never seen... The next series, the 94 to 2004 Mustangs used as police cars. Um, I don't know if they were. So these two new green lights are sweet. So let's pull out how many Fox Body Mustangs does Joe have? The one I love to hate is this Hot Wheels Art Car series. 1992 Mustang, hold on. 92 Ford Mustang. Uh, this one is an LX uh, fastback or hatchback. Uh, you can tell by the taillights. Um, these horrible red wheels, uh, the tampos, the lack of uh, light details front or back. Uh, these wild graphics. I mean, the shame is that this is not a bad casting. Hot Wheels could and should do a better job on this. I have seen videos of the RLC premiums and the and when they come out with these as a premium, and um, you you couldn't you couldn't get my money for them. Um, so. Uh, my friend Tiz said, Joe, when are you going to do your first custom? Because I've never done a custom, a wheel swap or anything. And I said, oh, you know, I'm, I'm not sure that I could do it. Um, but this would be victim number one. Uh, I would love to uh, do a wheel swap, get some nice wheels, and do the, do the details on this, remove these tampos, repaint this, uh, and maybe... When I have time in the summertime, I will customize that one. I have an earlier Hot Wheels race team version that I rescued from the bin. And I did just very simply take some paint pens and just try and touch up a little uh, for the uh, turn signals and headlights and so forth. And uh, I'm not saying I did a good job, but it just looks so much better than when it was stock. Uh, I could even deal with the wild graphics on it uh the white interior shows up better on this one um this one uh has such dark windows and it looks like a black interior you can't really see in there um and you know, i'm not very steady with the pen but i did the uh, third brake light and the tail lights uh on this one so tis does this does this count as my first custom uh, be gentle. Um, actually, these wheels aren't too bad. Uh, although, I mean, again, could do with a nice wheel swap. Um, and it's a shame because the Hot Wheels casting, the casting lines are good. Uh, it's just no details. Um, so we're going to beat up on Mattel a little. Actually, this is one I like. Uh, this is the 
Matchbox. What does that say? 93 Ford Mustang LX SSP. Okay, this is from the, uh, the uh, five pack. So it's got uh, that Boone County Sheriff. Uh, it looks like it's got a 5.0 badge. Nice enough stripe and, and Sheriff star there. Now on the Matchbox casting, you get lensed headlights because they're part of the window piece. Again, the casting lines, you can see the grill is nice. I did take a paint pen and just give it a little dab of orange for the turn signal indicators and reflectors. Um, you get a clear light bar on this. Um, pretty decent, uh, these uh, disc wheels that look like steelies with caps. Um, I did not try and do the lights on the back here. Uh, I want to get another one of these before I, uh, so that I can try and do it and have a spare, a backup. Uh, but again, this is one that um, if I were to try a custom, I would do. And this one, I'm not even sure that it would just need a, a, a wheel swap. This one would be fine with these wheels, just a little detail paint. Um, let's see how the interior looks. Uh, you know, from what you can see, it doesn't look too bad. I wonder if they took the extra effort to put any type of computer in there. I can't see on this small screen. Maybe when I see it on a larger screen. Um, the reflection on the window, it looks like there's something on the package tray. So, Hot Wheels and Matchbox represented. Let's put these over here to the side. So, so far that's five Fox bodies. <clears throat> now this one is an Auto World, but it is an Auto World Deluxe series, not the Premier series. Uh, this is very nice. This is metal body, plastic base, plastic wheels. Yes, you heard plastic wheels from Auto World. This is their down level. Next one down from what you actually see on the shelves, the Premier, uh, the Premium. So this is an, a 1984.5 Mustang SVO. Um, nicely detailed, the headlights, turn indicators, the Ford badge, the offset uh, hood scoop there, these um, aftermarket five-spoke rims. Um, interior looks like it's done well enough on this scale. You can't, I mean, you know, uh, that looks like the proper steering wheel, actually. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I, from what I, yeah, I mean... They went that extra mile, believe it or not, that looks like an 84, 85 steering wheel. Um, and they did a nice job on the rear tab. Oh, there's the SVO, the Ford badge, and the taillights done in the right painting. You have this biplane, two-level spoiler. Uh, this is nice. Um, but remember, uh, I've said that before about Auto World, there are some vehicles that are only available in the deluxe series and the deluxe series is out of production um this the card for this says that it is limited to and i can show you the card because i actually have one unopened uh that it is li limited to one of 1256 new tool let's take a look at the year on this um uh, 2017 it's not even that old um, and now this is a, just a different color. Uh, I'm sorry, 85 Ford Mustang SVL. Oh, hold on. All right, so this is an 85 and this is an 84 and a half. And how can I tell is that this has flush mounted headlights and these, the headlights are sunk back. So... Even though I own both of these cars, I, I had not noticed the difference. Uh, everything else on this casting looks the same. Uh, not going to open this one up tonight. Uh, I don't know why. You know what? Yeah, I will. I will. I've had this. I've had this one on the card for a while. And again, when I when I. I don't give much credence to limited or exclusive um, because if if they're limited, they should be you know if they're exclusive, they should be expensive. These were not expensive. 
Um, they, they were seven dollars. Uh, actually, this green one I got uh, as a lot of two. Uh, this green one and a black one like this that is an error. Um, and I gave that error car to my brother. So on that car, the package actually doesn't say Mustang. It says 19, uh, 1969 or 70 Cougar on it. So wrong card and car. It's an error. Um, Bob, you've got that. That that will be, quote unquote, a collector's item someday. They're all collector's items. Uh, so let's just do a quick comparison. Yeah, there is a difference on the headlights on this. Let's see if we can see any other differences in the casting. Nothing that jumps out right away. Um, looks like they made the fog lights bigger. Is that just the green paint? Um, see, on the green, the biplane spoiler is in black as it would be. Uh, the details just are a little... Sometimes black is a tough car to video. Um, I know everybody says that. It's true. Everything looks the same. Let's see if there's any difference on the base. So... Oh, hold on. There's your production codes. Four fifteen twenty seventeen. Five ten twenty seventeen. Uh, let's see if there is a casting number or mark here. There it is. One six four zero two three. One six four zero. Two, three. Looks like the ca same casting number to me when I look on this on a bigger screen. But there is a definite difference. So the, a, a running change. There, a, one, the black one is an 84 and a half and the green one is an 85. Um, and, you know, being a Mustang fanatic, you figured I would have spotted that before, but I didn't. So there we've opened three new cars tonight. So let's take a look at one of uh, my one of my favorites um, is the Johnny Lightning casting. Now this is a Johnny Lightning 1987 Mustang GT, and um, this casting is is one that I've had for quite a long time, uh, and I had it for years, and I just opened it up on the card last year. So there's the casting number 728. You're going to see that again. Now what do you notice about this? This has a white base. And it has a white body. And it has a white engine. All the years I had this, I did not realize that this is a white lightning. The car is actually supposed to be this, this uh, gunmetal gray uh, on the top here, too. Uh, and, of course, the uh, engine should be um, either raw metal or paint. You'll, you'll see on the other one. So this is my only Johnny Lightning white lightning, and I didn't even know it. Um, this is not the best casting. Uh, it is a little small for scale, a little narrow from Johnny Lightning, but these are uh, some of my favorites because, of course, Johnny Lightning was such a huge part of my collection for a long time. Um, I did not color those taillights with a paint pen, but then again, it looks like I did. Uh, again, not the greatest, but it's, it, it's very sentimental to me. Um... And the same casting, uh, this uh, 1990 uh, Ford Mustang LX, but it has the GT louvered taillights. Now, this is done better. This deep emerald green is the color of the car I actually owned. Uh, these five-star um, aftermarket rims are not appropriate, but the tamper work is done better on this one than the white one. Um, and I know, oh no, I'm sorry, this is a, yeah, this is a GT because of the fog lights and the taillights. This is not an LX. I'm sorry, this is a GT. Um, let's take a look at the engine. So nicely painted, black and silver, five liter fuel injected. Fantastic. Uh, also from Johnny Lightning, I have this, um, the, the barn finds before and after. This is the after 
1979 uh, Ford Mustang. And there's your 5.0 badge. Really nice um, aftermarket rims here. They look like American Racing. Um, the headlights. There's your fog lights. Um, this should have an opening hood. Hold on. I may be wrong. Maybe this one doesn't. Not all Johnny Lightnings have opening hoods. And if it opens, I can't get it open right now. Hold on. Yeah. So I'm not going to struggle with it. So this is the 79. Has the same taillights as the 82. Now I believe the license plate Corbett is the name of the owner of this actual car. It's very nice. It's got the T-tops, a beautiful paint job, uh, and again, a Johnny Lightning is just hardly noticeable, narrow for scale, and, and what we can do is compare that to um, the others later, although I've done that enough in video. Now we're going to go back to green light. <clears throat> so these two new ones are green light, and this other new one is Auto World. And we've got Hot Wheels and Matchbox and Johnny Lightning. So, of course, I have more Fox bodies to show. Let's take a look at this beautiful 1979, uh, the Indianapolis 500 pace car from Greenlight. Painted taillights. The T-tops, but the T-tops are in. So this is the same casting as the red 82 GT. Uh, headlights and fog lights are all painted details. The same TRX wheels, number 2502. Let's get that hood open. There we go. That same nice, there's the silver air cleaner, the two black into air intake hoses there. Pretty good painted details. Uh, there's the mirrors, a little silver on them. And this beautiful 1987 Mustang GT from Greenlight. Uh, and again, you can tell it's a GT because of the spoiler and the round fog lights. And this year, this is actually appropriate wheels. These are the 15-inch turbine wheels that were available on the GT. The, uh, the LX would have had the 10-hole wheels. Hood opens. Um, black plastic engine with the uh, manifold and the air intake, cold air intake box. This has lensed headlights and lensed fog lights. They look okay. And this has inserted lensed taillights. Um, and 25 years for the anniversary. So what does that make this? It makes this 1989, 1987. I'm sorry, yeah, 1989 Ford Mustang 5.0. The 25th anniversary. But it still has the wrong taillights. Um, the taillights should be the cheese graters. Like that. Um, I don't know why Greenlight did that, but you know, if that's the only flaw, this is a, this is a nice model. Um, and then <clears throat> I have this uh, 1988 Ford Mustang LX notchback drag race version from Greenlight. Uh, now, this is funny. This one has painted headlights, not inserted like the white one. Uh, same engine underneath the hood. This one has an aftermarket power dome hood and some sponsor stickers. Um, 1988 Ford Mustang. GL050 is the casting number on this. Copyright 2010. Uh, the uh, LX 
Ford badge. And the taillights, of course, are correct on this. Very nice. So this is the body style. Now, this is a 1988, but I had a 1991. This body style in this color. That was my baby all those years ago. No, I do not have that car anymore. I most certainly wish I did. Miss it every day. Oh, and I forgot to take the M2s off the base. Uh, I don't know if I'll make you endure me taking these all off the base with the screwdriver. I think maybe we'll, I'll make you endure taking one, one off. Um, because they're always there in the background, but I forget to take them off. So I'm going to take one of them off real quick while you look at those beautiful Mustangs there. So this was the Father's Day 2020 set, I believe exclusive at Walmart. And you know how I make fun of people for running to the secondary market and paying inflated prices for these? Uh, guilty. This was a set that uh, I believe was retail $25 or $27. Um, I paid, well, actually with shipping... Uh, 42, so I don't feel that bad. So here we go with the M2 casting. So uh, lens headlights, lens fog lights, uh, typical M2, slight hood alignment issue. Pop the hood. This one has a Coyote engine. Uh, so this is obviously a modified car. It says GT350 with a Ford emblem there. This has the appropriate... Um, turbine wheels I'm on close there we go so this is a 1987 Ford Mustang GT custom um, the uh, nice wing nice inserted tail lights 1988 it says on the plate so 1980 Ford Mustang GT okay um Nice interior. Now the doors luckily do not open on this. The mirrors do not have silver paint on them, but I won't beat that up too much. Uh, metal body, metal base, screwed base in this case. Um, nice rubber tires. The wheels reproduction on this is nice. So let's take this one and the green light. And you can see that the M2 is slightly larger than the green light and it's just a hair but it again m2 is known to be slightly large for scale uh, meanwhile johnny lightning is known to be slightly narrow for scale Actually, in this case, it looks like, according to Greenlight, Johnny Lightning may be just a little bit of a pig. But they're all so close in scale that they would sit well together in a diorama. And if, and if the Hot Wheels and the Matchbox had a premium version with good details, they'd sit well in the diorama, too. 34 minutes. Sorry, running late with this one. Uh, so again, uh, happy birthday, birthday to our friend 2AHD Cat, Tiz. Um, I want to thank everybody for their tremendous response to the contest giveaway. That giveaway raffle will be either this upcoming Saturday or Sunday, depending on my work schedule. Um, there's a lot of entries. Good luck to you all. There's a lot of new subscribers. Uh, jumped up to 130 today. Um, uh, I'm not going to give 130 shout outs. You people know who you are. You're obviously watching, watching this video, I hope. So, uh, stay warm, stay safe, be careful out there. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Um, this isn't a challenge. Uh, what do you think of Fox Body Mustangs? Do you have any? Would you pick any of these up? 
Um, you know, I, I, one of these days I'll take all three of these M2s off the, off the, in advance of the video so you don't have to wait and watch. So thank you for watching. Good night. Be safe.